Okay, on Meredith's hair, I'm gonna show you something really quick and easy. This look has been inspired by 1970s curls and Marc Jacobs in spring summer this year. We're just gonna create a tonged effect and a really loose curl and show you how to get that really quickly. We've sectioned the hair horizontally and this just separates this hair so we're able to neatly wrap it around the tongue. Now I've taken my section, I'm just gonna put a little bit of smoothing cream on my hands. I'm just gonna rub that into my hands so the product almost disappears. And I'm just gonna prepare the hair for the tongs by putting the smoothing cream on. And this will also give a little bit of heat protection to the hair as well. I've taken a section at the side of the head and I'm just starting to smooth that out with my fingers. Then I'm taking the tongue and just at the end, just wrapping that round the tongue, closing it, and then I'm working up the head into a kind of spiral curl. Leaving a little bit of just drag at the roots so I don't get too much kick from the hair. I'm just placing the hair around the tongue gently so the heat comes through. And then I'm releasing into a really nice spiral curl. So I've released the curl from the tongue. I'm then just gonna wrap the curl up, take a Kirby grip, and just hold it there so the hair sets in place. I've taken all of my horizontal sections, I've worked up the head, and I've wrapped it around the tongs. Just as we get to the top section, it's important to wrap it around in a different way so we create a random curl. I'm opening the barrel, popping the hair in, wrapping it all the way around. Careful not to burn my fingers. Closing the tongue and putting the hair right down on the root. So at the top, I want to create some kick and some movement. Once I release it from the tongue, it's very important to keep it in the curl. And then I'm just going to pin it in and secure it with another curvy grip. Like that. I've now taken all the clips out of the hair that were securing the curls. What I'm going to do now is just start to move the curls around and just, I can have a look at what shape they're going to fall into. It's very important that we do this before we start getting our fingers in and starting to separate the curls. It's very important with this look that we keep the curls looking as defined as we can and we use the different shapes that they're being tongued into. Okay, all the curls are now brushed out. It's very important with this look that it looks natural. It can't look overproducted. So we've just maneuvered the hair with our fingers, pushed it into position. We've swept this fringe over a little bit and it's very important the hair flows and just looks and feels very natural. Okay, so we've got the look finished. It's very important this look doesn't look at all producted. We're using a, a little bit of dry serum. So it's important the hair doesn't feel oily or have any product on it at all. This is just gonna help us with texture. I'm rubbing it into my hands and then I'm just gently squeezing it into the hair to create a little bit of movement and texture. It's also good just to control the fringe where we want that little sweep and dip into the sides. And there we are. 70s curls.